Hi everyone! Sa video na ito, magpa-practice tayo mag-solve ng mga problems related sa atomic mass. So, paano ba mag-compute ng atomic mass? Mabali mabilis lang yung pagsusolve ng mga atomic mass problems. So, meron tayong first problem dito. So, ang problem natin dito ay rubidium has two naturally occurring isotopes. Rubidium 85 with relative mass of 84.9118 atomic mass unit and rubidium 87 with relative mass of 86.9092 atomic mass unit. So if rubidium has an average atomic mass of 85.47 atomic mass unit, what is the abundance of each isotope in percent? So alam naman natin yung definition of isotope. Okay, so isotope, it, it is an a variant of atom of a, of a chemical element na meron siyang difference in the number, different sa number of neutrons. So magkaiba yung number of neutrons nila, pero pareho yung number of protons, pareho yung number of electrons. So ang katanungan dito, what is the percent abundance of each isotope? So meron tayong, kung titignan nyo, meron tayong mga given dito. So, ang element natin ay rubidium, kung saan ang uh, symbol for rubidium is Rb. So, meron tayong two naturally occurring isotopes. Ito yung si rubidium 85 at saka si rubidium 87. So, si rubidium 85, meron siyang relative mass of 84.9118. Si rubidium 87 naman ay meron siyang relative mass of 86.9092. Given din ang average atomic mass na 85.47 atomic mass unit. So, ang tanong is, ano ba yung percent abundance of each isotope? Kung ito yung given na relative masses at ito yung average atomic mass ng dalawang isotope ni rubidium. So, isosolve natin tong problem na to. So, but first thing, it, ilalagay natin dito sa taas yung given natin. So, given dalawang isotopes na may uh, specific na mga masses, relative mass, rubidium 85 and rubidium 87 na mayroong relative mass ito given. So, ang question ngayon, ito percent abundance of each isotope. Given din yung average atomic mass na 85.4. So, ito yung formula natin. Average atomic mass of rubidium is equal to, okay, so sabi natin sa formula, the percent abundance, percent abundance of each isotope times its relative mass. So, percent abundance dito of first isotope times the mass of the first isotope plus the percent abundance of the second isotope times the mass of the second isotope. So hanggang dito lang yung formula natin kasi dalawa lang naman yung isotopes natin. So ito yung gagamitin natin formula. So i-input natin yung mga values kung ano ang mga given. So given yung mga relative masses, given din yung average atomic mass, ang hindi lang natin alam ang percent abundance. So mag-ano tayo ng lagyan natin ng representation. Okay, so let X be the percent abundance of rubidium 85 and 1 minus X ang uh, percent abundance of rubidium 87. Bakit naging 1 minus X ang uh, percent abundance of rubidium 87? Dito yan. Diba? Alam natin that we are talking about one molecule of uh, rubidium. And this molecule have two atoms, so isotopes, two isotopes. So with this one, meron siyang dalawang isotopes, meron siyang dalawang atom. Tapos, kung iaat natin itong percent abundance, that should be 100%. So kung 100%, hindi naman natin pwede dito multiply si mass times uh, 100%, yung, yung sign niya, with sign percentage sign. So, kailangan natin i-co-convert natin ito into whole number or into decimal. So, dito, pag 100% to dalawa, 100 divided by 100 to convert the 100% to 
whole number that will give you 1. Kaya ito, uh, abundance of uh, rubidium 87 is 1 minus x. Since ang x natin ay ang percent abundance of rubidium 85. So, ilalagay natin yung mga values natin dito sa formula natin. So, sabi, atomic, uh, average atomic mass is equal to the percent abundance times the mass of that isotope plus the percent abundance of the second isotope times the mass of the second isotope. So, ilalagay natin yung values. Ano ba yung given atomic mass? That's 85.47. So, 85.47 atomic mass unit is equal to X times 84.9918 atomic mass unit. Okay, so, ia-add natin yung sa second isotope. Sabi dito, ang percent abundance ay 1 minus X, so plus 1 minus X times 86.9092. So, kung titignan nyo, ito, hindi natin pwede ito i-directa, no? I-multiply pa natin to kasi may mga variables tayo. So, i-multiply natin x, i-multiply natin dito kay 84.9918. Ito naman dito sa kabila, okay? So, ang pag-multiply dito, since nasa may uh, is, hindi isang variable lang, may ano siya, May uh, 1 minus x siya dito. Okay, so ito, i-multiply natin si 1 by 86.9092. I-multiply din natin si x times 86.9092. Okay, so tanggalin muna natin yung uh, units. So that will give us 85.47 is equals to 84.9918x. So, X siya, no? Kasi wala namang value si X sa uh, ngayon. So, nandyan siya as variable. So, plus 86.9092. Okay. Plus, ito, i-carry natin yung sign ni X. Okay. So, meron siyang uh, minus sign. So, i-carry natin yung minus, minus sign niya dito. So, that will give us minus 86.9092 X. So, kung titignan nyo din dito, hindi rin natin masasubtract or ma-add si 86 at saka si 84 uh, dito. Kasi si 84.9918 may variable na x. Samantala ito ay number lang, walang variable. So, ang pwede lang natin i-minus, i ito si 86 kasi pareho silang may variable na x. So, ang gagawin po natin, i-combine natin ang parehong number at pareho yung may variable. So, itra-transpose natin si 86 sa kabila. So, always remember, di ba, pag mag-transpose tayo ng number, pag siya ay sa kabila ay uh, addition, pag transpose natin siya sa kabila, that will become subtraction. So, gawin natin 85.47 minus 86.9092. That will give us equals to 84.9918x minus, ito na diretso, minus 86.9092x. So, pwede na natin i-minus, di ba? Pwede na natin, tayo, pwede na tayo mag-minus dito. So, kung i-minus natin si 85.47 by 86.9092, magiging negative yung answer natin. Bakit? Mas malaki kasi si 86.9092 kaysa kay 85. So, we have to bring this sign down. So, that will give us negative 1.4392. Dito din sa kabila, kung titignan nyo, mas malaki din si 86.9092x kaysa kay 84.9918x. So, ang magiging answer din natin dito ay negative. So, that will give us negative 1.9174x. So, kung titignan nyo itong equation, x with this one means imumultiply natin itong negative 1.9174. 9174 times x. So, to get the value of x, itra-transpose natin itong number dito sa kabila. So, remember, ito multiplication. So, pag nag-transpose tayo dito sa kabila, ang process niya ay magiging division. So, ganun kasi yun pag mag-transpose tayo. 
So, pag transpose natin ito sa kabila, it will carry the same sign kasi negative siya dito. So, pag nag-transpose siya sa kabila, negative pa rin siya. Ang mag-change lang is yung process. So, instead of multiplication yung process, magiging division. So, anong, mang, anong labas dito? It's negative 1.4392 divided by, so transpose natin sa kabila, divided by negative 1.9174 that will give us equals to x. So, kung i-divide natin ito, hindi ko na ipapakita kung paano mag-divide ng numbers. Ha? So, ang makukuha natin answer dito, negative 1.4392 divided by 1.97 at 9174, x is equal to 0, 0 0.7506. So sabi dun sa question natin kanina, in percentage or in percent. So to change or to convert decimal to percent, imumultiply natin ito by 100. Okay? Or the most easiest or the more easier way to convert this to percentage is you just have to move this two decimal places to the right. That will give you an answer in percent already, which is equal to 75.06%. So ngayon, alam na natin kung ano yung percent abundance ni rubidium 85, which is equal to 75.06%. So next. Alamin natin kung ano naman yung percent abundance ni rubidium 87. So dito, anong sabi natin? The percent abundance of rubidium 87 is 1 minus x. So ilalagay natin yung value of x. So 1 minus x is actually equal to 1 minus 0 0.7506. And your answer will be 0 0.2494. So again... Since ang question should be in percent, we convert this to percent by moving two places, two decimal places to the right. That will give us an answer of 24.94%. So therefore, yung answer natin dito, si Rubidium 85, ang percent abundance is 75.06%. While si Rubidium 87 has a percent abundance of 24.94%. Okay, so, yun yung answer natin. Mabilis lang, di ba? Mabilis lang mag-solve ng mga problems related to atomic mass. So, magsosolve pa tayo ng isang problem para at least masanay tayo. So, let's have our next uh, exercise. Ito naman yung given natin sa, ati, uh, sa ating second exercise. So, it states that an element has three isotopes. Given the abundances and relative masses, calculate the average atomic mass and determine from the periodic table which element it is. So, tignan mo, hindi natin alam kung ano yung element na pinag-uusapan dito sa exercise natin. But alam natin na meron siyang three isotopes. Okay? So, ito naman yung given ng mga values. So, mayroon mga abundances and relative masses of the three isotopes. Ito nga. Yung first isotope natin, may 0.005% wherein ang relative mass is 234.040947 atomic mass unit. The second isotope, mayroon tayong 0.72%. Pareho lang yan kasi zero, walang value yung zero. Time, uh, yung relative mass ay 235.043924 atomic mass unit. Ang third isotope is 99.275% abundant siya at ang relative mass naman ng third isotope ay 238.050784 atomic mass unit. So again, Ang question dito sa problem na ito is ano ang average atomic mass of this element at ano yung element na ito. Siyempre, dapat malaman natin kung ano yung average atomic mass para malaman natin kung ano yung element. I-ano natin, i-check natin yon sa periodic table of elements natin. So solve natin yung problem natin. Tignan natin. So ito yung mga given natin na ilalagay ko na lang dito. 
So in percentage pa yung given natin, nandito yung relative masses. So ang question is, ano yung atomic mass at ano din yung element na pinag-uusapan dito? So average atomic mass, alam natin yung formula, ito 3 isotopes. So percent abundance of the first isotope times the mass of the first isotope plus percent abundance of the second isotope times the mass of the second isotope. Then plus the third, okay, percent abundance times the mass of the third isotope. So ito yung ano natin, ito yung formula natin gagamitin hanggang third kasi meron tayong tatlong isotopes. So kung titignan nyo, ito dito, kahit na ilagay natin percent, abund percent abundance ito, na nandyan yung uh, percentage sign, i-convert pa rin natin ito into decimal. Bakit? Hindi natin mamultiply ito kung nandyan yung percentage sign. Hindi natin mamultiply sa mass. Dapat i-convert natin yung percentage to its equivalent in decimal form. Okay, paano mag-convert? Huwag na tayo mag-divide by 100 kasi mahabang pag-solve nun. So the easiest way is you have to move two places to your left. Okay, two places to the left. That will give you that will give you an additional zero here. So your five, uh, your point zero zero five percent will now have four zeros. Okay, so that is equal to point zero 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 five. Okay, at ang relative mass is two hundred thirty four point zero four zero nine four seven. Now let's go with the second isotope. This is 0.72%. So again, we have to convert this to decimal form by moving two places, two decimal places to the left. So that will give you again with two zeros. So that is plus 0 0.0072 times 235.043924. Medyo mahaba yung ano natin, yung uh, formula or yung equation natin. Dito na lang natin ilalagay sa baba. So, the last isotope is plus, ito, 99%. Okay, 99.275%. So, again, we have to convert this to decimal form by moving two places to the left. So, that will give you point or 0. 99275 times the mass which is 238.050784. So again, yung uh, PEMDAS rule natin. So unahin natin yung proseso kung na nasa parenthesis. So we multiply this first. We get the product. Then imumultiply din natin ito. At saka ito imumultiply. So, lahat ng products nito, ia-add natin. So, ano ba yung 0. 0.00005 times 234.040947? That is equal to 0. 0.01170204. So, next, ang second isotope natin ay plus uh, 0. 0.072 times 235.043924 that is equal to 1.69231625282 next is ang um, uh, 0.99275 times 238.050784 that is equal to 236.324915 Kung titignan nyo, in, hindi ko pa sila na round up. Okay, bakit? Kasi as much as possible, gusto natin malaman kung ano yung exact na atomic mass ng element na ito. May mga element kasi, yung atomic mass nila masyadong malapit. Okay, a difference of one. So that will, that will make uh, a great difference kung hindi natin, kung i-round off natin dito. Like for example, i-round off natin to two decimal places only. So malaki yung difference nila. So as much as possible, we'll keep it this way para at least makita natin yung exact na 
uh, atomic, average atomic mass ng element na ito. At makita natin kung ano ba talaga yung element na pinag-uusapan dito na mayroon, mayroong uh, three isotopes. So if we are going to do the math, kung i-calculate natin to, i-add natin, that will give us an answer of 238.0289312. Okay. So, ito ang haba na. So, since ang table of element na gagamitin natin dito ay with three decimal places, okay, 1, 2, 3, hanggang dito, dito i-round off na natin to. So, dito, between 8 and 9, kung ito i-round off natin dito uh, sa three decimal places, 9 is greater than 5, so therefore, i-add natin lang 1C8. That will give us 238.029. So, yun yung atomic mass, average atomic mass of this particular element. So, ngayon, ang gagawin natin, hanapin natin sa table of elements kung ano ba yung element na mayroong atomic mass na 238.029. So, pop-up natin. Kunin natin yung table of elements natin. Ito yung table of elements natin. Let me just... Okay, let me just... Zoom this one. Okay, so isusum lang natin para makita natin. Okay, dito siguro... Dito yan sa baba kasi 200 plus there. Okay, kung nakikita nyo. Okay, ito o, si uranium na may atomic number of 92. Makikita nyo, the atomic mass is 238.029. So, exacto doon sa na-compute natin na average atomic mass. Okay, so therefore, ang answer natin, ang atomic mass ay 238.029 at ang element na pinag-uusapan doon sa problem natin ay uranium. Okay? So, yun. Uh, hopefully, may natutunan tayo in this video paano mag-solve ng mga atomic mass related na problems. Mabilis lang, di ba? But if you still want to learn more about atomic mass, kung gusto nyo mag-solve tayo ng mga problems, kung may mga concerns kayo on atomic mass, feel free to comment below po. Okay, so, at kung ano yung mga additional information gusto nyo din ibigay sa atin, please comment po. Okay, so, we'll be happy to read it and to assist you, to help you. Okay, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you!